Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Vista stack. Uh, we're going to start with the Vista tent and then we're going to add the ground kit. So let's see what's in the bag. We've got the insect mesh, the rain fly, three tree wraps, set of poles, the safari trillium, pegs and bungees, set of ratchets. The first thing we'll do is lay out our safari trillium so that all corners are pointing towards the trees we're going to use. So we get one of the tree wraps, undo the velcro, and we go around the tree at around four feet or 1.2 meters. Make sure that the tree's nice and protected against the uh, ratchet straps. We'll do that to each of the three trees. This is the ratchet bag and inside the ratchet bag you'll have three ratchets. Uh, they'll be clipped together with little elasticated bands and you've got the ratchet itself with a loop and the strap itself which also has a loop. That's going to go around the tree. First thing we'll do is put the ratchets onto the trillium. Take the loop through the D-ring and then the ratchet through the loop. Pull tight. Then you take your strap, come around the tree Make sure it's not twisted. And then you get the loop and you put the rest of the ratchet through the loop and cinch that tight and then bring the tail of the uh, strap back to your trillium. Just through there and then back to the trillium. Taking out any twists and then we can thread it through the ratchet. I'm gonna put the strap through the spindle, take it out the other end and then take out the slack and then give it a little crank just to lock it in position so it doesn't slip out while we do the others. We get the last strap and put it through the ratchet and we'll see if we can raise it off the ground in its right place. So I'll do it fairly loose to start with. Pull out the slack as much as I can. Make sure that the strap and the three seams of the trillium are in much a line as I can. We'll do that as tight as we can. Once we've cranked it as tight as we can, we pull back the lever and set it into locked position so that this plate sits within this housing here and it can't go anywhere. You might find that you've got a lot of loose strap. We can tidy that away by just wrapping it around your hand. Taking out the twists, take it to about 40 centimeters or 12 inches and then take the middle part through the loop, pull it tight, and then put the loop through that loop, and that'll stay out of your way. The Safari Trillium comes with three 13 uh, mil poles. So we'll straighten those out, and then what we'll do, we'll just lay them up on top of the Trillium platform for the moment. So now we've got the poles up onto the Trillium, we're going to get the end of the pole and put it into the pole socket and then lie the pole straight down the middle so it's coming off the middle of the far edge. I'm going to do that to each of the poles. Okay, so the rain fly is pretty heavy. 8,000 hydrostatic head, 3,500 UV hours, uh, which means you can leave it up for most of the season. We recommend you take it down once a month, check the straps for wear and tear, check all the bits, uh, the fixings, hooks and bungees for wear and tear. But this is a new one, so I'm going to chuck it up over the whole thing and then we're going to fix the corners. So now the flyer sheet is loosely draped over. What we're looking for in the corners are the two adjustable straps with the C-clips. And the C-clips just simply clip onto the handle of your ratchets. And then you can pull it a little bit tight and we'll do the same for every side. While you're putting the fly sheet on, no doubt the poles have moved around, so just make sure that the pole ends are back in their 
sockets. And then you can walk around to the opposite ends of the poles and you'll find a little green pocket. And you need to push against the pole socket on the far end and bend that pole and put that end of the pole into the green pocket. And that, we need to do that on every side. So I'm gonna climb in through the central hatch now. And we've got all of these arcs of poles and I'm gonna gather them together, raising the roof into a big dome. And they should all cross right in the middle there where you find some ties. And these ties need to go around all three poles and just a normal ribbon knot like that. You'll see some C clips halfway down and just attach those to the roof poles. <laughs> now the dome's in position, we can tighten the corner straps fully. So now we can take the, uh, the pegs and the bungee and undo the bungee and we're going to attach a bungee to each of these wings on every side. And the best way I find to do that is you put a little loop in the end of the bungee and then that can easily just fit onto your S hook there and then take it out, put another loop on the end here Take one of your pegs, pull it out nice and tight and screw it into the ground. I'd suggest you screw it all the way in, otherwise someone's going to trip over it and snap your peg off. So as close to the ground as possible. So now we've, now we've bungeed the, the wing out. Um, when you're doing the stacks, they come with these extendable poles and you can just lift up those wings, putting it through the gray webbing loop and set it out at a height that suits you. So you can lift it up for a better view or down for a bit of better weather protection. Once you've got the fly sheet in position, nice and tight, it's time to put in the insect mesh, which is um, optional, obviously. You can have it as an open hammock with a roof, but we're gonna make it insect proof now. So unroll the insect mesh, open it all out and find that central tie, which has got a yellow piece of webbing on it and then that's going to go and clip on to one of our poles right in the middle there and then we need to orientate it so I'm going to take each of the corners out and you're looking for a place where two pieces of insect mesh come together with a little adjustable clip and we're going to clip it around each of the corners. So one, once you've clipped it by the D-ring you want to cinch that up tight so it doesn't slip back into the floor. So we'll cinch that nice and tight and do the same here. Clip and cinch. You get the same clip and round the back of the D-ring, clip and cinch. Then we're gonna open up all the zips and, and then I'm gonna climb on and start clipping the insect mesh up to the poles. Okay. Once we've got all the clips done, we can jump down, do the zips up and use the straps to tighten it underneath the tent. So you'll find a, an adjustable elasticated band that comes under the trillium, clips into its corresponding clip and then just cinch it tight, get a nice covering. And then about 70 centimetres or 25 inches towards the middle, you've got these longer straps which will also to their corresponding straps and pull tight on those as well. And that should be your vista ready. So now we've got the Safari Vista up, we're gonna put the ground stack uh, underneath it so we're going to have um, the ground sheet uh, just going to make sure that there's no uh, pointy sticks and sharp sticks to puncture it so I've cleared under there got the ground kit got the double bubble and we've got three pegs 
So the first thing is, let's lay out the ground sheet underneath the vista so that the corners line up with the corners of the tent. Now I've got the ground sheet laid out. We're going to get the double bubble out, unclip that. I'm going to just put it over here so we don't lose it. And we'll open up the double bubble, which is basically three walls. So you're looking for a place where the webbing comes together with a little clip like that, which then goes up and around the D-ring and cinch that tight. Now I'm gonna run my hand down this edge till I find the next corner and do the same over here. Taking that clip round on the outside of the pole, clip and cinch. Right, now take it down to the bottom and you'll find that there's a zip that's gonna be connected at each corner. So a zips to the edge and then you get the corresponding slider and you put it in through both heads and then you can connect the two, making sure you don't catch the insect mesh in the zip slider, taking out any of the elasticated bungees. So once we've got the double bubble zipped to the ground conversion kit, we can take the loops on the bottom ends of the ground conversion kit and peg them out. Wouldn't do it too tight on the first one because we're going to have to equal the tension out on all three corners. Okay, so now we've fixed the ground sheet. We fixed the double bubble to the ground sheet. And now what we do is we find these elasticated bungees and there's a clip on the corresponding side. We go over there clip it and then cinch that up nice and tight, making sure you've got a good overlap on the double bubble so that no insects can come into your lower level. There you go, now you've got good coverage and a nice overlap the whole way around. So now we've got this all cinched up, that all connected. You can find the corner with the zip entrance and open that up. Come into your lower room where you can have it as a gear store or a living room. Now I'm going to go up into the tent. So you've got ventilation here and you can use these toggles. Um, if you undo the strap at the bottom here, these toggles will fix to a loop up here so you can keep these open uh, for easy ingress and good ventilation. So there you are, that's the Safari Vista ground stack. <laughs>